This is the daily video update for Wednesday, October 28th, 2020, for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. To continue uh, this week, um, we're asking members of our congregation to send in names and pictures of folks that you want to remember as part of the All Souls service this weekend. Please keep sending those in. Uh, any, any that I receive by the end of the day today uh, at my email address, minister at unitarianlincoln.org, uh, will incorporate to the service this weekend. I do editing and recording uh, mostly on Thursday, so it is important that we get those uh, in before we do the editing process. We're talking about policy this week, though. How our, how our faith informs how we think about politics through the lens of specific issues. And the place that I, I want to start and I want to focus today is this. There's a difference between what is legal and what is morally right. And that seems like a cliche. But here's what it means in practice. The Supreme Court is the final arbiter of legal questions in our system. But it does not get to say what is legal or right. A woman or any person's right to autonomy over their own bodies was an unrecognized right before Roe v. Wade, and it will continue to be a right no matter what happens. Segregation was always wrong. Even on the very day when a Supreme Court justice wrote the words separate but equal in an opinion, those words did not make it right. What is lawful and what is just is not always the same thing. And one of the reasons that that's important is that that is the basis for civil disobedience. Civil disobedience is not lawlessness. It is instead a recognition that there are times when we knowingly violate a law because the law is not just and that we are accountable to a higher understanding of justice than what is contained in a municipal code or a Supreme Court decision. That's a rare thing and should be undertaken with intention and care, but it is a, a tool that we have, particularly as people of faith.